guys, welcome to our episode of Surfer BRG's Review Time. Um, of course, Bernie Garcia, K Surfer BRG. And in this video, I would like to talk about a Wii game. I actually picked this game off at the electronics store for $10. I've actually played the arcade game. It was a pretty fun game. We'll talk about Ghost Squad for the Nintendo Wii. This was an arcade hit made by Sega AM2. They did a really good job making a bunch of those 3D games. And yeah, they poured this game for the Wii, so figure why not just buy the game since it was cheap and give it a try. So, well, I get the chit chat and get right about the game. So I don't know how much to say about this game other than it's, you know, pretty fun and stuff. You know, there's a lot of shooting and a lot of, like, killing bad guys and stuff. There's three different scenario missions and you get unlimited continues and, you know, you can even give up or continue and stuff. And, you know, like, first scenario is you're supposed to rescue the leader and stuff. And the second mission is you gotta save the president, because Air Force. And the third one's like some jungle level or something. Overall, I have to say this is a really fun game and stuff. You get all sorts of like weapons and costume changes, which is really cool. One of my other things, one of the things about the game too, is you gotta make sure you have a really good steady aim and good reflex. Because sometimes my hand gets a little shaky, especially no matter how hard I have to hold my hand, I end up missing. And you know, sometimes so this. So you gotta make sure your reflexes and your stay hands really good, otherwise you're going to end up having trouble failing or ended up, you know, screwing up on a bunch of emissions. Uh, there's not too much I got to say about this game. You want the sound effects, the graphics, music, also like the different scenarios you get to do and the different like tasks you get to do along each stage and stuff. There's ways of completing it and stuff, and there's areas you gotta do. This game is still pretty fun actually that they did a good job for it in the week. I think my only major problem with this game, and you know, I've kind of encountered this in a lot in some games, maybe like some fighting games and stuff, but this is the first time. The funny thing about this game is when I start a new game, I notice you're only stuck with a basic uniform and gun. So my only major problem or concern with the game is there's going to be a lot of unlocking involved, so you're going to be doing a lot of level. There's also a lot of level up too, which allows you to show your rank, and that's how you do the unlockables. So keep in mind, you're going to be unlocking a whole ton of stuff in this game. So, you know, it might even take days, weeks, depends on how addicted you are to video games, and depends how much time you spend on video games, and other that, etc., and all that other sorts of stuff. And so, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of, like, shooting and stuff, and a bunch of other stuff. They even have party mode, which you never got a chance to try, because you just have to play games alone or solo, and they also have a training mode, which I might try. But the detail. But you know, I have to say this game is actually pretty fun, actually. And so why don't I stop the chit chat and get right to the final results? Yeah, you know, I even forgot to mention the other thing too is this game's also um, come out with the little zapper accessory where you put the gun and and you hold it and stuff. But I actually don't have that thing, and I was never able to get my hands on one. But overall. I have to say, the game's really fun, actually. It's a pretty awesome game. And they actually did a good job at pouring this game to the Wii in. I have to give them credit. They actually did a good job at pouring this game. Because I know there's some arcade ports that turn out right and some. So overall, the game's pretty fun. like the graphics and stuff. You might need quick reflex and, you know, quick stay hand. But that'll take practice and time. So my only major concern about the game is that... Yeah, you're going to be unlocking a bunch of stuff, so there's way too much stuff you got to unlock. But overall, it's still a pretty fun game, actually, and pretty fun to play and stuff. Notice there's even a panda outfit you can unlock, which I never got to yet, but eventually I'll probably unlock it too. But bottom line, let's give the game 9.0. And, you know, if you guys are a shooter fan, I recommend buying this game because it's really fun, actually. Actually, you're probably lucky because this game you could probably find at, like, an electronics store or GameStop for maybe, like, I got this game in the electronics store for 10 bucks, so it was actually worth it, actually. So, overall, my final verdict is 9.0, because it's actually a really fun game. My only major problem was, you know, the lockable, but, you know, it takes time. So, anyway, that's all I have to say right now. So, this is the end of Surfer BRG's review time episode. I forget what episode this is, but anyway, see you guys in the next review.